you see him in person, you're gonna be wanna bring him to town. I, I just gotta find me some hay, man. Find me some good hay. Uh, I already got my water spot right there next to where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be back over there where I first originally was. So when we took a break a while ago, I got on uh, Darling and, and showed my man a few things that, uh, not that he was doing necessarily wrong, but things that he could do that would be better. Uh, so I got on her and, and rode her, worked a little bit, and Darling is still in the fighting stage. And a lot of times, guys, like I say, when you're fighting, there can't be a lot of learning. So once she really stops the fighting, she's a very smart horse, then there's a lot more I can do with her. I'd rather take a horse, I don't care what age they are, that nobody's done anything with than a horse like her that's of age with all her bad habits. And they were created by a lot of some trainer that didn't know what they were doing or somebody like the Alana Bennett girl that keeps commenting on my page about abuse. Somebody that uh, was scared to, to kick a horse in the ribs with the heel thinking that is abuse. This is how they developed this stuff. You know, with, 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 with most, most horses, the bad habits is created by a man. Now, every now and then you got just a genetically mean, stupid horse. But in most cases, the bad habits is created by men. And I call out this Alana Bennett girl because obviously she don't know what she's talking about. And she keeps commenting on my page about this is abuse. Uh positive she needs positive re positive training what the hell get the f out of here anyway uh now i just want you to move around uh like we was doing that that little just figure eight in the pen kobe just keep it nice and quiet like you were doing if she'll stay nice and quiet but it, it, if it just takes just a little bit of finger to lift up then that's what you use So he's just figure eighting her across the pen. Uh, slight pressure, you see he's relaxed, his hands relaxed. Just tweaking her nose in. And when you tweak her nose in, put that sh calf on that side. You know what I mean? And take the other one off unless you want her to drive both feet. And you are really wanting her to turn into it, so you're not really going to take the other one off. You're just going to slightly squeeze with that one as well because you want her to keep all four feet moving. Good right there. So Darlin is making some progress, but it's a long ways from being where she's a safe horse uh, for any caliber of rider. You know, she may be safe for a novice rider. Right now she's safe for a novice rider. I like to get a horse where, where they're safe for any caliber of rider, you know? And in most cases, like I said, unless they're just genetically bred and ignorant. Now, once you ask the first time, just give a little bit more and look, a little bit more drastic in what you're asking and make her move on out. But we don't want to sit there and keep begging her, you know? Yeah. Now just kind of change the gate.
we want to get her in a little trot just like that there it is right there just relax Keep her in that. When you feel her start to slow down on it, then you put her right back in it. Don't, don't let her get out of it and then put her back in as soon as you feel her slowing down. Just ask her to get back in it. Good. Now rest your hand on the side of the horn. Let's see what she do. Get her face back down. There you go. Then go right back to the rest of it once you get it back down. That's how she'll learn to Now, in that gate right there, I just want you to take control and just move her around the pen wherever you want to go, but stay in that little, stay in that little trot. Keep, keep, keep the movement going. Forward movement. If she tries to hang up, then you kick her and kiss her, make her move out, move her feet. Soft hands, guys, soft hands. You take it and she give it, you give it back and just keep slightly bumping on it. Don't keep no, keep bumping it, but don't just hold it there. She give it, give it back, take it back. It's just, just playing give and take. Okay. And then eventually she'll just say, the hell with it. I'm just going to leave it here. <laughs> Draw you some range. Kobe, so you don't have to be way up in your chest to do everything you want. Working it right up there, you go. You can always extend your arms out like you just did and, and put more slack in it. So you can keep them here and trying to work the brain. Yeah, but don't be so far back and working all back in your chest like that. Right here. Yes, sir, right in there. The guys, look at where his hands is, where he's working his horse. This is where you work a horse because that's normally where you ride a horse. You work a horse up in there. Right around that saddle horn, slightly above. Look at this guy's seat. His legs is down. Now, one thing I would like to see, Kobe, is not have all your boot up in that stirrup like that. Now, you brought it out to your balls of your foot that time, but a minute ago, you had your whole boot up in that stirrup. There you go. It's just like you sitting down. You see people and they got their whole boot up in the stirrup all the way back to the heel. That's not how, that's not how you want to ride. Some stairs may be a little long for him, I don't know. Bumping, give and take. When she moved back, you give, give and take. 
Good. Now make her finish with her head down. She put her head down. That's where it's finished at. So Darwin still has a lot, a lot of uh, work to do. Uh, I'm not even going to try to start side passing or getting her off the pressure left and right yet. All I want with her right now is just forward movement. If she get out of the fighting forward, then there's no use of me right now trying to teach her, trying to teach her to move left or right, or to cross her feet over, to move her back end over. It'll just be a fight. So, so when she's more trusting and more apt to move out forward without all the uh, extra stuff, then I'll start trying to teach her other things. One thing that, that some people do is they try to do too much too early too soon. You know, there, there's developmental stages. There's certain things that, that they ain't ready for. There's a word that they call prerequisite. And that means you do this first to make that better. So she's moving around pretty good. Try to transition her from, from right there and try to go into the gallop. You see, she's gonna start fighting her head because she don't wanna, she, right now she don't wanna work. Oh, shit, there we go, that was good. Uh, that a girl. That's it right there, that looks good. Notice she starts trying to cut the circle off on the pin. It's good, dude. That's good. Now just sit down and relax and let her just find that. Just ease her into a walk again. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Now when you come around the pin and there's a little space between you and the fence, just lift up on this inside rein and bring her back this way. There you go. Good. Good job, my man. Is he around again to a slow track this way? Yes, sir. Keep in that trot for a minute, and then once she's smooth in that trot, then just ask her to go to a gallop from there. This young kid right here, man, he got a lot of talent. Uh, he can be a pretty good horse trainer. He got a lot of natural stuff about him. He's, real, he's kind of like a green coat. He's green, but he's, he's, he's got a lot of talent. He's also very talented with the dogs. That is right there. Now she sees. See, now she's trying to ride a little bit. She ain't fighting it. She's just trying to ride a little bit. She's saying, okay, what is it? Hey, hey, hush. Dogs was really quiet. When they hear me start getting loud, I think they start getting loud too.
pretty good for darling today. So you, so you put a different rider on her, but at the same time, you don't put, if you put a rider on one of these horses that you're training and they don't make them ride right, then before you put that horse up, you get on that horse and you straighten it back out. Don't never put one up doing nothing wrong. Huh? Oh, okay. Long as you ask her to do it. Let's see what this man's feet is. So the one thing, let's see if that can heal this down. Get your toes up and your heels down. Your toes is down on this side. There you go. I don't know if those stirrups here, your legs is longer than mine. All right, well, get them hit. toes up. A up. couple of times you come around you and your toes is down. If you get start riding with your toes down, it's easy to get forward. forward. Just, just sit down in your seat and wow. just put them, yeah, and just put them heels, put them heels down. Heels down, toes up. So if your darling gets a little warm, then there comes the fight. Or she wants to fight a little bit. She wants to try to get away from being taught. So a lot of times, even when I notice when I train young horses, there's a point in time where they want to try me and they want to say, okay, let's see if CT is really about this life. Let's see if CT is about this life. And when they see I'm about it, then it's like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> he is. Let me go ahead and do what I'm supposed to do. She, she ain't riding right yet. She, I'll, I'll tell y'all when she's riding. Right now she's resisting, she's fighting. She's not riding. She's trying to get out of the work. She's not riding. Now she's trying to ride. Still really, she's trying to ride. Pick you a place and a time to, to, to mm -hmm. stop her. And make her give you a few steps back before everything's complete. Gonna take the slack out the rain. She'll push his feet forward, just like pushing Whoa. the brakes on him. There it is, right there. Whoa. Good. Yeah. Not bad right there, not bad. Not bad. A little flexing, you never can flex a horse. Too much, guys. Remember that. Never can flex one too much. So see, I'm working this camera and I'm getting a chance to zoom in on things. You know, let you see the action instead of it looking like that right there. See, that's how I look when I'm uh, got my camera on tripod and I ain't got no help out here. But when I got help, look what CT can do. Oh boy, look at CT. I guarantee this horse ain't never had a rope swung on it right now. You can swing a rope on this horse. You can twirl because of the, the stuff that I do when I start breaking them, my groundwork with the buggy whip, you know. See, she kind of hung up right there a minute. She was like, oh, it feel good just sitting here. Let me just sit here. So in a minute, we're just going to. I'm gonna quit, darling, and, and and I'll give her a shower. She got a couple of uh, sensitive areas on her where the saddle's breast collar's rubbing on her, and its fits are pretty good. It's just some of these old horses are soft skinned.
pick you a spot and just do a 360 turn and go right back into the same direction. Turn off into the arena, make a follow ahead, all feet moving, and then just go right, nope, into the arena. Oh, okay. See, she's trying to stop working. Then right over here, do it again. And when you feel that this, now that, that felt, that looked smooth. That should have felt smooth. Over there a while ago, she was kind of hanging up a little bit, but over here. So I want you to, in all four sides, that's what I want you to do. Go into that circle. So wherever your size is, so that means before you get back there, you're going to have four circles completed. See, she tried to walk out of that one, could you tell? That one was better. So see, those are exercises that you can do to start getting your horse responsive. Then you can just go into your full circle, you know, but you, you, you start teaching the horse to, to ride and, and, and to, to listen to me, to do different things, you know. <clears throat> Next time you turn into the circle, instead of turning the whole 360, you do a 180 and come back into this direction. Yeah, you're going to come around and just, then you're just going to be, yeah. So right now, go out like this. You're going to do this almost just like you were doing a circle. But instead of full circle, now you're going to go over to the wall that way. Yeah, and, and take your circle the other direction. I'm sorry, guys. I guess it's hard for me to talk and hold a camera, man. I got a lot of respect for cameramen now. You know, you got to watch the action with the camera. A lot of times, if that horse is doing everything you wanted to do, you should just be able to drop them reins and ride. You know, it's kind of like driving your car with the steering wheel. You don't have to put a deft grip on it. You know, as long as the car is going straight, you can pretty much just have your finger on it, just holding it there. You know, uh, when it's time to, to, to do a 90 degree turn, Good. it's only so much that you turn the steering wheel. Same thing with, with, with the reins. The reins on a horse is your steering wheel. So he's just slightly lifting up on the inside rein and, and, and she's giving to the pressure. Hangs up a little bit. You ask her to get into a trot. Keeping her soft in the face, flexed at the pole. Taking the slack out and he's giving it back. And this is just the O-ring I'm gonna show you guys. All I got is an O-ring snaffle bit in Darlin's mouth. So there's not a whole lot, there's not a harsh bit. O-ring snaffle. So then when you teach your horse to work, 
in a little bit like this. Now, once you put a working bit on, a bit with the curb strap or maybe a shank to it, a port, then now you can get more reaction and, and, and quicker responses from your bit. But if you start teaching and training them with that bit, then they develop, uh, it's, they're, they're not as sensitive to it. Hope that makes sense. It does. It should have. Clyde says a lot of stuff that makes sense. I don't say too much stuff that don't make sense. You know. So she's trying to resist again, and that's and that's what she does. And this is where the miles and the time and the riding come in with with these horses. And she needs a whole lot of it because of her uh, foundation. Her foundation was no good. So so she's pretty much totally rebuilding her. of this right here She's starting to ride a little bit right there guys She's starting to ride so she's going to the left she's staying on the fence normally to the left she's trying to be all over the place tighten her head she's trying to ride a little bit and with some consistency I'm thinking we can make Darlin a pretty nice horse. She's really not a bronc because I've given her some opportunities to be bronchy. She was just uh, taught wrong. She got rewarded for the wrong behavior. Hey, man, I'm going to get you off my horse. You're making my horse look better than me, man. Let me go on. get you off my horse. You showing my viewers up. They're going to be asking who this guy is. All right, guys. So a lot of times when you, once you've ridden her and you start flexing her, she wants to hang on the bit. So when she hang, bump it and give it back to her. Yeah, she want to just kind of hang and want you to pull it around the whole way. I want you to just start coming that direction. And then she said, all right, I already know what you want. I'm going to come on with it. And that's how you'll, you'll get that is when she start hanging on it, then you start bumping. You know what I'm saying? guys we out hey there's a whole playlist of uh training videos if this is your first time coming across ct's page then uh just check my playlist out and if you like these videos subscribe uh share them on your social media uh i try to be truthful in everything that i do guys there's a lot of bs going on out there there's there's guys that got horse training shows that I don't even know how the hell they got a horse training show. They don't even know how to properly sit in a damn saddle. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of misinformation out there. My page is transparent, totally unedited. What you see is what you get. And, and I'm going to tell you guys, I don't claim to know it all. I don't know it all. There's things that I can learn from everybody. I can learn what to do or what not to do. So pick and choose who you learn from. CT's out. I'm thinking probably guys that... uh. By the time I get done with Darling, she'll probably have a for sale sign on her.
So we'll see what happens. Pop that old whip around there and make her stand still. So I'm gonna tell you. Dogs go to barking. So when you're doing the whip work, don't be timid about it. Don't tiptoe around your horse. Do your business. Now you remember when I said that that when I start riding these horses. Hey, 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 come on now. Come on now, let me talk. Thank you. Thank you. Oh shit. So when I said, when I start riding these horses, I don't come in here and lunge them and do all that stuff before I ride them. But what I do do, once I get them to that point where I can just saddle and ride now, I'm gonna work them after I ride them. So Kobe, what I want you to do now is, is tie those reins where they can hang on the saddle horn without without uh, flapping and falling everywhere. And then, then I want you to lunge her, make her lunge and work around the round pin. Make her work in the pin. You're gonna point, kiss, and make her move out. But hey, there's more than one way to skin a cat. When you decide to want her to, want her to go, to step to out of way, point with one hand, kiss, and send it. Use your lips to make her pick it up. Give her a This is when I start working. This is when I start working my horse. I work them after I get off of them. Now, so you just kind of guiding with your hand. So long, once she start going, so you just kind of sit, like, once she start going, then now you can kind of quit pointing unless she stop again. Okay, gotcha. That just... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now make her pick it up. If you gotta step in and hustle her butt, use your lips, double kiss her, make her go to another gate. There you go. This is when I work my horses, after I ride them. Remember the point now, remember the point when you wanted to go too. Yeah, yeah. Now, at some point in time, you're going to step back, cut her, cut her pin off, step back, and send her the other way. Just backpedal to the wall at some point in time. Now, there you go. Good job. This is how I work my horses, guys. Oh, Alana Bennett. I think she said this is abuse. <laughs> so I guess like if a sports team, when the coach make you run laps and when you do sprints, I guess that's abuse as well. 
Some people just don't understand. Some people shouldn't even be allowed to own a pet. up on darling moving around the pen. Now at some point in time just step back and ask her to come to you. And when she come rub on her. Rubber forehead, right there. Sling the tail of that whip around her feet. <laughs> See how that tail of that whip wraps around there? Just start desensitizing her from everything. Walk up beside her, go beside her, slinging a rubber neck. Come back, do it on the other side. Walk all around her body now, swiping that whip. Just ask her to come here and just ask her to follow you around. Okay. And just walk and make her follow you. Come on. Come on. Put your whip to the other side of you. Uh, Put your whip to the back side of you on this side. So if you need to, you can just reach back there and tap it to make her come on. Girl. Stop and just say back up. Back. Now step back. Where you teach your horse, don't. Uh -huh. Now keep walking. Turn around. Now, now, now see, go back close. If she didn't come, now tap her with your whip back there. Uh -huh. That's what encourages her to come on. So when you say come on, before you actually leave, take a half a step, see if she's coming. If she ain't, then you reach back there and give her an uh, uh, incentive to come. Cut across the pen, see if she's following. At some point, say, whoa, and just walk backwards into her, and we want her to back up. Whoa. Back. 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 back up. We just wanted to back up off of him. We we'll never want a horse walking up on you. Back. Tap her in the chest if she ain't. You just grab your stick and use the back end of your stick right there and tap her in the, in the chest. So see, you got out. No, make her come to you. You step over there and tell her to come to you. You don't. You don't grab her. Come here. Come here. I don't. I don't go to my horses. I teach my horses to come to me. See, I would have tapped her in her ribs with that whip and made her come on to me. Okay, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to work. I'm going to show him how to do it right. I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching.